What's up, you guys? It's Ronnie Von Little Prince Dawn. Back at you with another fragrance video. Yeah. Whoa! All right, today we're going to talk about, you see, you see the twice hole? We're going to talk about some fragrances in my collection that I'm like, girl, if I could go back in time, if I could turn back time, share style, I would not purchase these. Actually, a few of them were gifted to me, like, um, through other YouTubers. Girl, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, but I see why you gave them away because they are not giving what they said they're supposed to give. Side note, this shirt, um, well, first of all, if you want to know where I got it, it'll be linked below, but I can't button this. I can't button this so if you see it flapping around that's why i try and i fail so whatever if you like fragrance content other content sometimes too vlogs whatever walking around living my life but if you like fragrance content primarily smelling good hygiene that sort of thing go ahead subscribe join my perfume mafia like this video comment below if you try any of these ugh, fragrances and they betrayed you as well girl we can talk about it this is a support group right here okay and let's get into it other thing is that oh my god i'm just still trying to get used to this hair if you saw my maybe the vlog isn't up yet but i got this hair done and i don't know something about the middle part i feel like i need a side part something about the middle part is giving me 90s grunge like i feel like i could be in nirvana i don't know it's like very casual and it's giving 90s grunge so i just feel like i have to put glam makeup on i don't know what do you guys think side part am i a side part girl i do have a big forehead anyways let's get into it the first one is going to be let's start with the most expensive because i'm very upset i'm mad or oh, actually i have the wrong one let me go get the other one all right so i have the right one now so this is from byredo girl i don't know i had a sample of this before when i purchased blanche which is my like all-time favorite from byredo i haven't smelled them all but i love that one crisp clean smells like fresh cotton blanche is a one for me but i do love most of their fragrances this one i did like it when i just tried the sample it's la tulip but something about when i wear it it just is the, the longevity is just the most minimal fragrance ever like it's gone she's gone baby gone it's a beautiful light fun um poppy tulip fragrance kind of reminds me of Jo Malone poppy a little bit but this is like a fresh clean floral fragrance and i do love her so much great for spring again it's almost like a rainy day floral but she just doesn't last at all and if you know byredo byredo is not a cheap girl she's not a cheap date she's around 200 i think for the small bottles 300 i mean if it's an exclusive 500 i mean she's very expensive so at some point i have to hold you to a standard of you having produced a fragrance that actually will be on me after i've spent hundreds of dollars whoa so for that reason if i could turn back time girl i would just buy like a little sample because i don't wear her that often I don't usually go for floral fragrances, not all the time. Like I have to be in a particular mood and I just don't know if this one is worth the money. Even though it is such a beautiful fragrance for me, it's not that much, not that much a part of my fragrance wardrobe to where I would go back and purchase Byredo La Tulip. Also, if you know a lot of Byredo fragrances, please comment below what are your favorite Byredo fragrances. I feel like I'm about due for another one. I like to add one a year because the girl's expensive and I'm not looking at my bank account in the year and I don't spend ten thousand dollars on byredo perfume ah, 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 ah. one a year so let me know which one you currently like from them i have flower head i have la tulip and i have blanche so let me know which one i should get next the next one girl i tried to say i tried to sell this fragrance so many times if you've been with me for a while you know i used to have a fragrance website where i would sell off my fragrances don't really do that anymore because it became chaotic just the shipping bartering going back and forth so i don't usually do that that often but it is coming around uh time for me to do a full fragrance collection video i don't know if i'm going to include uh body mist this isn't all my body mist either i know you guys were asking this isn't all my body mist but i don't know if i want to include body mist maybe i'll do a video of all my body mist or my entire bath and body works collection a and then i'll do a full fragrance collection video as well so stay tuned make sure you're subscribed hit the notification bell because that's coming but i probably will be selling this one off once i clear out my collection uh, so this is betsy johnson Ooh, dusty this is betsy johnson i think that's just the name of the perfume betsy johnson but it is horrific for me it is a spicy floral i want to say like a, a white floral something about it just smells very mature and almost smells like pie pie when you get down to it i don't know usually that's like a jasmine citrus combination i don't know if that applied this fragrance i'm not even bothering to look up the note because i don't like her i tried i got a really good deal on her i really did try with her but as you can see years later not much has moved 
so sorry to say this is something that actually when i walk past in the store i'm like girl why are you here torture people you've caused so much turmoil late that's how i feel about um bessie johnson but i have heard a lot of people say that it's their all-time favorite and it rocks with their chemistry this is just a fragrance that does not rock with my chemistry does not suit me and obviously that's the case with all these fragrances but if it suits you that's fine oof this one was i don't even know what they were thinking as soon as this fragrance came out from Gucci, it went ahead and shuffled its way to the discount department stores, which just shows you how well it was received. It was released in the both the men's department and the women's department. It was unisex. It is unisex. So this is, of course, Memories of an Odor. I don't know how to pronounce that in the French way. Memoir de Odor. I don't know. I have memories of this odor and it is not pleasant. It is like a chamomile herbal medicinal kind of a scent um i have no idea where i would want to wear this scent maybe it's like fashion week where you want to start a conversation when you're walking past someone they're like whoo what is that scent why are you dressed so funky like that sort of situation it's the only time i can imagine wearing this fragrance and i did pick it up because she's so darn cute i mean that is just like gorgeous honestly to put on your vanity um other than that, it's such a weird scent. I'm just like, why would they sit up in the lab and make this like, um, oh, th good thing I put it on my hands so I can wash my hands. But I mean, good on them for trying to take a risk because on the designer market, you could be so enclosed into a box to where it has to be sweet, floral, sweet, floral, sweet, floral, fresh, sweet, floral, you know? So good on them for trying to take a risk. It was a fail, babe. It was a fail. No one wants to smell like pink chamomile lotion. Like we have chicken pox. It's gross. I don't know. I, but you know what? I keep this in my collection just because it's so unique. I'll, I've never purchased anything else like it. And I don't have anything else like it. It is very unique. But girl, I would never recommend this to my greatest enemy. Girl, you're going to be stonky boy. Okay. Okay. The next one that we have is Vintage Dolane. It's vintage. It's maybe from the 1980s. Maybe the 90s. So... This is Tucad by Roaches. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce this. Roaches Paris, the girl. Roaches in Paris. No, but this is Tocad. This is the quintessential 80s Shepra spicy floral smells like Chanel number no. five. Kind of a scent. I feel like all of the scents from the 1980s literally smelled alike. It smells like Dior Poison, the original in the green bottle, which they all just smell like floral, sharp, a combination between like deep amber and citrus and just like so pronounced. It smells like a, a mature church lady. That's how it smells. Anything that has this type of bottle to where it's like a pyramid with those geometric shapes run girl because you know it is going to smell like a mature church woman when you go in for that hug and you're like i can't breathe please let go and you know she done sprayed it all on her bosoms and they always got some big books do your breasts keep growing as you get older because older women always have tig old bitties anyways the breasts smell like this girl that's what it smells like yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna have to give this to someone of a particular age because Bonnie V. Uh-uh, that could never be me. So yeah, and this is one of the ones that I got from a, um, a YouTuber. I see why you gave it away, girl. Whoa. Okay, the next one. This actually hurts me to say this. Like, I'm. I don't know if I'll be able to sleep at night. But this comes from the. I think he was. Yeah, he was a contestant on Project Runway. He won, and he's gone on to do so many amazing things. Christian Soriano. This is his fragrance. People are bull. Okay, and trash is trash. No, I'm joking. No. But seriously, it is not my favorite. It's like a berry, fruity, fresh floral, but it is so basic. It's almost like too wearable. It's like, it's so safe. It's too wearable. There's never a time I actually want to smell like this. Um, There's something about it that's an undernote to where it almost smells like rubbing alcohol. And just the notes in there are very sharp and staggered to where you could smell that it is not an expensive fragrance. I think that's what it is. Maybe I smell, I sound a little bit um snobbish almost, dare I say, but it does smell very very cheap it smells like it was ten dollars no one wants to smell cheap i love getting a, an affordable fragrance really good deal but i don't want to smell like i've i've spent no money on it yeah there's something about it that almost smells like play-doh or something that's like a fragrance for children where you don't want to spend a lot of money but you want them to feel like they have a fragrance in their collection that's what this smells like like the idea the execution abysmal the last one that we have is going to be a celebrity scent i know you're probably shocked that we didn't have more celebrity scents in here 
Although, if maybe, no, I was gonna say it's Betsy Johnson's celebrity stamp, but no, she's just a celebrity designer, or was at one point. So the next one, or the last one that we have is going to be from Lionel Richie. This is Hello. And this is another one to where it's a white floral that's slightly spicy. Almost smells like it has like some honey in there or something that's like a natural sweetness about it. Again, this just smells very mature for me, which really fits with his target audience. Obviously he's like in his 70s, maybe 80s. So his target audience is gonna be a little bit more mature. So that makes sense. But for me, if I can go back, I would not purchase this. Um, I've never actually worn it. I would never actually wear it. I can't picture a time that I would reach for this scent or wanna smell like it. It's very, um, just very aging. And it's not something that's very desirable. Whenever I put on a fragrance, I want it to smell luxurious, desirable, and something that is appealing and something that I would like to smell like. And this is just not it. Although I've heard feedback from a lot of you and you do actually like this fragrance. So there's that. But when I have my fragrance clear out, this is definitely one that is going to part ways. Sorry, dear. So those are the fragrances in my collection that I do regret purchasing. Please let me know what are some fragrances in your collection that you regret purchasing. Or if you can go back in time, turn back time, you just go ahead and leave them on the shelf. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.